Titans, welcome to another Form Titan doc sign video. In this video, I will show, show you how to set up a custom link for doc sign in HTML email. Let's get started. Let's add a contract. Okay, for the contract here, let's go and add some fields. I'll add them in here one by one. And then all that signature. Not so concerned about how the fields are set up and what they're gonna do, more concerned about the email. That's the point of this video. And I'll show you how to set that up now. So in the document email user sign request, you can edit this email. You can either have it in standard custom message or you can switch it to HTML mode. Let's start with the subject. You can add any subject here. You can say Titan is requesting you to sign this document. Something like that. And from here on, you can really customize it to your to whatever you see fit. You can say hello, and then insert a merge for like first name. Thank you for choosing Titan. Please sign document below okay next we're going to talk about a couple of things here you see document URL document URL rule document URL is basically the URL but in that's just saying click here to sign but the URL rule is big so it may be sometimes that you really just want to customize this so how do you do it well this is how you do it if you Go and look into the source code. This document URL, the data ID is called document URL. So copy that and then create a link. In the link, you'll put this, but what you need to do is put merge fields like this. Okay. And then you can change the text to display. You can say click here to sign Titan document. And the target will be new window. Okay, and this is how it looks like. Same thing, just like that, and you can get rid of this. Subsequently, you can also add a button. So let me just get a script here quickly. Source code, and we'll paste that like this. And now there's my button. Okay, well, let's move this up a little bit. Now the thing about the button here is that um, I've got this button, but look at this merge field here. Okay, that's all I've done. I've pasted the href to be the document URL raw with the merge fields. And again, you can give this a same value as well. You can say like this, and you can click OK. This is what the button looks like. Okay, and then you can just say thanks, Titan. And you can make this a bit bigger as well. So just like this, you can add the href directly into a button or just a normal href. But what you need to be mindful of is when you, uh, when you use a URL, you need to use the URL like this. So anytime you choose a merge field like this, you'll be able to understand the data ID behind it, which is in this case like this. And then what you need to do is make sure that when you create a new href, you put the URL, but you insert the merge fields on top of it. And then you can call it whatever you want. Testing demo URL, Titan URL, for example. If the merge fields are not there, this is not gonna work. So the merge fields are super important. So you can see there's my URL. Now let's go and test this. Let's see what it looks like. Click apply, save, I'm just gonna Go ahead and assign it to a user. Save that. Let's make sure that this person is assigned to these fields. Done. Now let's publish. Let's send. Okay, once this is sent, here's my document. You can see there's my custom subject. 
and look at that it's come through nicely so there's my URL that we just used let's ignore this one it seems like a bit of an HTML issue there but if we ignore these and just focus on the, this is the URL I created again it's in raw form here but then also the button I click the button it also takes me there as well okay and then I can sign this document and enter the data as I see fit but that's the point of the video is that you can insert the URLs directly either into a button or a href and then you can call customize that completely but the basic premise behind it is that you need to make sure that you use a merge field successfully um, like I've shown you in here so and this is how it's done